This weekend, I am going to be tearing up the bathroom and I will not have a toilet for two to three days. And my wife isn't going to stay here to, during those days. She's going to go to her parents. And so I actually needed to make a toilet so I could actually go to the bathroom while we're working on the bathroom without having to go to the gas station. Oh, and belts and boxes, I dare you to share this in one of your videos in the future. I dare you. All right, guys, so if you have any plans, cancel it because you need to stop, watch this video, and make this. We're going to turn this Milwaukee pack out into a toilet. All righty, so this is my toilet seat. Let's see on how well that goes. The right size of these. That's actually good. Just slide those in so I could, so I know what to do. Alrighty, so pretty much mark that there. Yeah, pretty much take those out. That's gonna be fairly easy. As you can see, you still have the, the ridges right there to help support it. Let's do that. Now let's take a look. And yes, I'm gonna shave that down so it's smooth. Make it look pr pretty. All right, so we're gonna have to do that. Not too shabby for that. Let's do it. Let's do a little test. Oh yeah, that'll work. All right, so right now we are working on the urinal section of this to of this porta toilet or porta porta potty. This tool is handy, you guys. Just let you know this tool is very handy. All right, so I got my toilet seat there, then the urinal. Urinal is gonna go right there. Yeah, that'll still work. All right, when it comes to this being sealed, I got two drain gaskets. All right, so this goes, one of these goes on here. Perfect, I like that it's tight. That goes in like that, and this goes on there. Now I am gonna add a little bit of WD-40 to those threads. That should be enough. This is just a test to see if I can make this tight. Yes, I can. That's on there tight. Very good. All right, so clean this out. That goes through there. 
That goes through there. Make that tight. Which is clip one thing like that. All right, then the last thing we got to do is put the receiver in there. All right, so we have this. All right, so. There we go. That is good enough. And that actually tightened up pretty well. See if we can go a little tad bit more. Yeah, that's actually on there extremely well. Good enough for my use. There we go. That actually might work. There we go. Not right there. Perfect. I don't know about you, but that looks pretty darn good to me. I'll tell you this, this is better than having nothing. All right, you guys, so the Milwaukee Packout Porta Potty is complete. I have the solid waste, I have liquid waste, toilet seat, toilet paper. You also have a back, uh, you also have a backrest so you can lean against that. And you could also lock it up. To put the urinal on, all you gotta do is do that. Then done, as you can see, it's a perfect height. Bam! This is, oh, and some of that is awesome is that it is portable. You can sway the toilet paper left and right, just gotta once in a while push down. I should put like another angle right up here so it stays in place. So yeah, so I'm gonna keep this thing as well because during uh, once in a while during winter, they actually shut the water off because some water main burst somewhere because of the, just because of the cold weather that we get. And so sometimes they do shut the water off for an X amount of time. So this will actually come in handy also during winter. And so yeah, so I'll be out of a bathroom this weekend for three to four days. So this is actually gonna be uh, very handy. It's awesome. It's majorly convenient. It's majorly convenient. And yeah, like I said, you just could uh, wheel it around if you need to. And just to take the urinal off, just so it doesn't look like that, just like that, put that aside, done. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope this motivates you to make an emergency toilet with anything. It doesn't matter if it's pack out or if it's rigid or make a toolbox, make an emergency toilet out of a toolbox. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.